we're counting down your 10 most favorite projects of 2021. from the DIYMommy.com. My biggest project this year was definitely the renovation of our lake house that we turned into a vacation rental. It was probably the most difficult project that Sean and I have done together. Very rewarding though. And then there was a few other fantastic projects that we did also this year and some fun videos that I shared. So what I wanted to do today was share with you the top 10 videos of the DIY Mommy channel for this year. And hopefully these projects will inspire you as you go forward into 2022 with your DIY projects. Let's get started. The 10th most loved video here on the channel in 2021 was how to make DIY curtains at home. I am so happy that you loved this video. Making DIY drapes is one of my favorite things. And between DIY pillows and DIY drapes or curtains, those two sewing projects are my personal favorites for completely transforming your home on a budget. You can keep a very neutral, budget-friendly base layer and switch up DIY curtains and pillows seasonally or yearly or whatever you want to do. And I think that dramatically changes the look of your space on a budget. These pleated curtains not only look high-end, but they're really easy to make. Even if you're a beginner at using a sewing machine, I think this is one of the best projects to try. Essentially, you're just hemming all the way around a large rectangle of fabric. You're using this special pleater tape that you can attach right to the top of the curtain. And then I found some hooks at Ikea to insert into the pleater tape. Voila, instant gorgeous drapes. So if you wanna make these in the new year, definitely check out the full tutorial. I will leave a link for it, plus all of the other full videos that I'm mentioning in today's video down in that description box below. Your ninth most favorite video of 2021 was our lake house kitchen renovation. I would say of all the videos this year, this probably was my personal favorite. This was my favorite before and after. First of all, I love kitchens. Second of all, I feel like this was such a huge difference from the you know, classic golden oak before of this kitchen to the bright white after. We swapped out the layout of this kitchen to make it feel so much more open, so much more modern. We used really budget-friendly supplies in this renovation, so cabinets that were in stock at Home Depot, Ikea counters, and all of that. So this whole thing was really budget-friendly, but I feel like in the end, it looks high-end and gorgeous. This is a fantastic makeover to watch if you're considering completely gutting your kitchen, making it over, but you have a limited budget and want to stick to it. I also love this one because we did a little bit of an outside of the box kitchen layout and did a table in the middle rather than an island and ultimately I feel like that was the right decision. And so far all of our guests at the lake house have really loved the kitchen. So make sure to check out that whole transformation. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. Your most loved video number eight was my small pantry makeover. So I took an unused tiny little closet in our back entry of our house and turned it into a second pantry. In this pantry, we're storing bulk items, we're storing snacks, and it's been so incredibly useful this year. We use it every single day. Whereas before, when it was a useless closet that I had essentially just paint supplies in the bottom, we didn't use it at all. I did this whole little makeover myself with just simple tools that I had at home, really budget friendly, materials, so definitely something to consider if you need extra storage in your home and you're just starting out with DIY. Your seventh most favorite video of the year was how to make money with your Cricut. Now I really loved how many of you enjoyed my Cricut videos this year. You know that I'm a huge fan of Cricut. I try to do about one video a month about Cricut. I feel like it's a really fantastic crafting tool, especially if you want to make money with your craft. So you want to create t-shirts, you want to create decals, you want to create mugs, that kind of thing and sell them. Or if you love making personalized gifts, the Cricut is fantastic for both of those. So in this video, I explained to you exactly how you can start a handmade business, how you can utilize the Cricut to start that business, which products are trending this year that you can make with your machine and how to go ahead and sell those and make your own business at home. I feel like a lot of us are wanting to start a business at home this year. This was a really hot topic. So I'm really glad that you enjoyed this video and I'll try to make some more videos about both Cricut and 
potentially about making money from home. The next video that you loved was 10 home organization ideas. This was a collab with Cass at Clutterbug. There was a few of us that joined in and shared our favorite organization tips and tricks. And this was a really fun collaboration of all of the ideas that I've shared so far about organization. Plus, I got to share some ideas with some other women that I truly admire here on YouTube. Organization is something that I personally struggle with, and I really love to share simple, attainable, easy organization ideas, and I'm definitely going to continue that into 2022. So if you're looking for ideas on how you can organize your home, if you feel like you're kind of struggling with simple organization methods, definitely check out that video. It's going to be a great one to give you some motivation as you start your year 2022. The fifth most loved video of 2021 was how to install contact paper countertops. So this was actually the counter that I did that tutorial with. So far it's holding up great. I do abuse this counter quite a lot. There's a nail hole in it. There's some glitter stuck to it. Uh, even still, I feel like it still looks really good. I do all my videos on this countertop and once I get a little bit frustrated with the amount of marks on it and stuff, I'm just going to simply rip it off and put it back on again. Contact paper is a fantastic material if you don't want to completely switch out your countertops. I love it for RVs, I love it for rentals, I love it for that in-between time. Say you want to get new counters, you can't quite afford them or your kitchen isn't ready for them or whatever, you could try applying contact paper on top and then you can switch it out really easily later. So definitely check out that tutorial if you're looking for something simple and quick to change up your counters. Again, I will leave the link to that video down in the description box below. The fourth most loved video of 2021 was 10 IKEA organization finds. I'm a huge IKEA fan. I know a lot of you are too. You love their organization. You love how they create products that are really good for smaller spaces. And I love that about Ikea too. So in this video, I shared some of my favorite organization products that I use all around my house that I've used in my camper with links to everything. So I'm going to continue to do that with Ikea hauls with shop with me for Ikea, plus some more Ikea hacks in 2022. So again, if you want to get into that organization zone, start out 2022 with that organization, a simple organization, inexpensive organization ideas in mind, check out that Ikea video. The third most watched, most loved video on my channel for 2021 was our lake house bathroom makeover. I loved the kitchen makeover in the lake house and probably second most favorite was the bathroom makeover. This, interestingly, was the most challenging room in the little lake house for Sean and I to renovate. The kitchen wasn't as hard. So I think what made the bathroom tricky was we had this really large format, super thick, hard tile that we installed on half the walls. And that was a really frustrating install experience, especially for Sean. It was really tricky to cut the hard material and pretty difficult to install. And then I had some shiplap errors and I had to redo some stuff. It was such a small space, but just a ton of work went into that space. Never mind the fact that the walls were rotted out when we started. So a lot of work. However, the before and after for the bathroom, I feel was really fantastic. This is another room that our guests really love. They love that spa feel in the bathroom. They love how clean it feels, how clean it is. And I'm really proud of that makeover. So definitely check out that one, especially if you are looking to renovate an old, smaller bathroom in your home in 2022. Second most watched video of 2021 was my video on how to use a Cricut machine for the very first time. When I was creating this video, I was trying to put myself in the place of someone that had never used a Cricut ever before in their life and they had just bought it, they put the box down, they opened it up, and what do you do from here? So I was trying to put myself in the shoes of that person and walk you through step by step exactly what to do when you buy a Cricut, open the box. How do you get started? How do you connect it to your machine? How do you use design space? What are some ways you can prep your material? And then I ended the video off with three different projects that I think are great beginners projects to start with. So if you are inspired to purchase a Cricut machine over the holidays, you want to try it out in the new year, you want to make gifts with it, you want to make home decor with it, you want to maybe start a business with it, this is a great video for you to start with. Just so you kind of know what you're getting into and whether or not you feel like this is up your alley and or if you purchased a Cricut machine already and you just don't know what to do, I definitely recommend watching this video. 
Thank you to everybody that's watched it and had so many lovely comments on it. It's really encouraging when I make a thorough tutorial video like this. I know it's not really an exciting video, but I am so glad that you found it to be a really valuable and educational video this year. And now drum roll. The number one video of 2021 that you loved the absolute most was my baby brother's kitchen renovation. This video was published in February. We completed the re renovation. We spent pretty much all of our January 2021 doing this. Sean and I did this together. This was kind of our first um, renovation project together uh, after he sort of left his job to come work with me on my channel and my blog and everything. So it was, it was sort of a, a risk, a leap we were taking together. And it was a lot of fun to work on this. My brother and sister-in-law were so amazing, uh, letting us into their kitchen, tackling it, completely gutting it from this 1970s kitchen to something a lot more modern. Home Depot worked with us on this project. They gave us some fantastic products that I think look really nice in this space. So in this video, we shared a lot of tips and tricks on how to renovate an older kitchen, ideas for design and all that sort of thing. So if you're considering kitchen renovation, if you have a really old kitchen, you want to spruce it up, definitely check out this makeover video and I hope you would feel inspired. So that is it. That is the 10 most watched videos of 2021. Like I said, I think my personal favorite out of those was our little lake house kitchen renovation and really that whole project. It was so much work. We, we risked a lot to get that house, to renovate that house, but so far we've had about four months of guests in the place and it has been incredibly rewarding. And I didn't really realize how rewarding hosting is um, how sort of invested I am in making sure the experience for the guests there is really positive, that people find this escape, you know, amongst this difficult year, that they find this little sort of piece of peace, a little parcel of peace for them and their families. And I feel really, really honored that we were able to take on that project, that we were able to turn it into a vacation rental and that so many people already have been able to visit the home and just enjoy relaxing there. So I am going to take a break until the new year. Thanks again. I can't say thank you enough for watching my videos this year, for subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me. I would love to know down in the comments below which video was your favorite of 2021. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd also love to know what sort of videos would you like to see from me in 2022? Do you love what I've been doing this year or would you rather see something a little bit different? Let me know and I'm gonna write everything down because I love making lists, writing things down, doing research. I can't wait to come back in 2022 with some new DIY and decor inspiration for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love right up here and I'm gonna see you in the new year.